Ethereum is surging, up 16% in the past 7 days, trading at $1,880 and up 71% in the past 30 days. Most of the surge can be attributed to the anticipation of the much-anticipated merge, which is an upgrade for Ethereum to move from a proof-of-work to a proof-of-stake. Vitalik Buterin, the co-founder of Ethereum, announced recently that the years-long wait for the merge is scheduled for mid-September. And as reported by several news outlets such as Bloomberg and CNBC, Ethereum just pulled off its final test run before the major upgrade. For those who are unclear on the particulars of the merge, in short, rather than relying on energy-intensive mining, the transition to proof-of-stake requires users to leverage their existing cache of Ether as a means to verify transactions and mint tokens. It is expected to use far less power and translate into faster transactions. Until now, Ethereum has been mined through a so-called proof-of-work model, which involves complex math equations that massive numbers of machines race to solve, and it requires an abundance of energy. Ansgar Dietrichs, a researcher with the Ethereum Foundation, took to Twitter to announce another successful test. Dietrich states that the most relevant metric for success when it comes to a dry run like this is looking at time to finalization. Dietrichs tweeted, To be fair, that is a calculated trade-off. Having so many different client combinations means that it is almost impossible to get to 100% perfection. But at the same time, the network is robust against a small hiccup rate. The most relevant testnet merge success metric, in my opinion, is time to finalization. And Prater Goerli finalized just now. Still some hiccups, so I'd call it another successful test. Goerli is one of Ethereum's test networks, or test nets. It is a simulated process identical to what the main network, or mainnet, will execute in September. The test nets did not go flawless, but overall, it works. A research associate from Galaxy Digital expressed that the participation rate after the test merge dropped and it looked like there may have been an issue with one of the clients, but overall, it was a success. Christine Kim tweeted out, A successful merge equals chain finalizes. Sure, participation rate dropped, and looks like there may have been an issue with one of the clients, but the merge worked. We'll likely see minor issues like this with the upgrade on mainnet 2, but the point is, the merge worked. Tim Bako, the coordinator for Ethereum's protocol developers, told CNBC that they typically know within minutes whether a test was successful. But they'll still be looking out for many potential configuration issues in the hours and days ahead so that they can fix them quickly. Bako states, We want to see the network finalizing and having a high participation rate amongst validators, and also make sure we don't hit any unexpected bugs or issues. The easiest metric to track is participation rate meaning how many validators are online and doing their duties, Vico said. If the numbers go down, developers will have to figure out why. The consensus call is set for Thursday morning Eastern Standard Time. It is anticipated that if the merge date is officially set, then it means that the analysis of data shows success. If a date is not set on the consensus call, then there are some issues that still need to get fixed. What do you think of the testnet success? Is Ethereum ready to 4x from here? leave a comment. If you found value in the content, hit the like button as that greatly helps the channel find similar viewers like you. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button as we put out daily content to keep you up to date on the current market and news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.